Comic fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do Road to Comic of the Year 2015 nominations for Comic of the Year. But before we get to the nominations of Comic of the Year, we're gonna go to that wild card round and see what you guys picked to win that wild card round to get that final nod for Comic of the Year. So, just to recap on last week's books for a wild card round, we had Inhumans issue number one, Uncanny Inhumans issue number one, Hank Johnson, Agent of Hydra, issue number one, Tokyo Ghost, issue number two, Secret Wars, issue number two, The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number three, or that's Renew Your Vows, this is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number three, Invincible, number 122, and Batman, issue number 43. So, the winner of the wild card round goes to Tokyo Ghost, issue number two. Congratulations, Tokyo Ghost. You slid in to the nominations. So, with that being said now, we're going to take the time to talk about the nominees for comic book of the year 2015. The most important and most prestigious award. It's been a long road. And thanks to all your guys' votes, you're the ones that made it possible to see that these books got nominated for Comic of the Year. And now I ask one last time for you to vote on what your favorite comic book of the year is. Or what the most deserving book is. So, here are the nominees for Comic Book of the Year 2015. As we just mentioned, Tokyo Ghost, issue number two, by Image Comics. Great character development, love the book. One of the best books of the year, in my opinion. Next goes to The Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows, issue one. This was the Spider-Man book, or the introduction to the book that all Spider-Man fans truly loved. Venom, a true Peter Parker married to Mary Jane. He has his own his own daughter. A phenomenal miniseries overall. This is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number one. Next was a weekly se series that promised to deliver week in and week out. That was Batman and Robin Eternal issue number one. Still going on into 2016, but this number one issue proved to have a solid start. I mean, when you have Batman holding a gun at the end of the issue, how can you not buy issue number two? So Batman and Robin Eternal issue number one. Next is... An event everyone was excited to see how the Marvel Universe was going to be destroyed. And this was Secret Wars issue number one of eight. At the time, this was all the hype. We could not wait to see what happened. You know, now the series delayed and people don't really care about it so much anymore. But when you look at this first issue, it was very, very promising. And overall, it is a good story. Just probably better read in trade. So this is Secret Wars issue number one. Next, another book from Image Comics this year. It goes to Invincible issue number 118. This was that issue that was only 25 cents. And for 25 cents, it was a great jumping on point. It told you everything that was going on with Mark Grayson and his family. And this was a full-length story. There was no corners. There was no fill-in artists. There was no fill-in writers. This was a true story of Invincible. So if you guys want to see this get nominated for comic of the or 
get voted for comic of the year please vote now next was probably one of the most action-packed issues of Batman for 2015 this was Batman issue number 40 this was the book where Batman and Joker squared off until their supposed deaths but this is what caused amnesia for Bruce Wayne and possibly Joker as far as we know at this point so with Batman on the on the horizon of coming back this was the end of Batman at that particular point in time before we got Bunny Robo Batman. Awesome issue. If you guys want to see this get comic book of the year, please vote now. Next goes to Star Wars issue number one. This year was a huge year for Marvel Comics and attaining those rights to Star Wars. Um, this built up all the way to Star Wars Force Awakens and Marvel proves that to this day that they didn't make a, a mistake at acquiring this license. This introductory issue to the Star Wars franchise was absolutely phenomenal and it is still phenomenal today. So if you want to see this get comic book of the year, please vote now. Next is The Walking Dead, issue number 144, another book from Image Comics. This series proves that after 144 issues that we're still not all about the zombies. This book took a total different direction where it jumped two years into the future and it has Rick on the brink of going insane of not knowing how to control his community anymore. He's lost many people in this community due to a group called the Whisperers. Very emotional comic book and uh, if you guys want to see this get nominated for or get <laughs> comic of the year please vote now <laughs> it's been a habit of me saying not get nominated for comic of the year but this is for comic of the year and last but not least probably people that have been fans of this franchise since the 80s and this book is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles this is issue number 50 this was the long-awaited battle between Splinter and the Shredder this was the oversized issue for eight dollars great artwork beautiful all the way around the outcome was absolutely phenomenal if you guys want to see this get comic of the year please vote now so fans there you have it there are the books that are nominated for comic of the year it's been a long road 52 plus weeks in the making we're down to the final nine books who will win it's up to you so again guys every vote counts and next week at this time you will see who will get comic book of the year 2015 so until then guys as always this is mike spider slayer signing off and I'll see you on that next comic book review. Thanks for watching, everyone, and thanks for your participation.